It is 12 noon. It is the 29th day of December, the 29th day of Vlogmas. This trash heap of a year has almost come to an end. And I am your grumpy guide to all things gaming, the opinionated one. Lord. Lord. OGGM with another OGGM adventure? Rant? I don't know why I call them the OGGM adventures. There's very few adventures. It's mostly just me being mouthy for 10 to 20 minutes. <laughs> Why well, stop now? Okay, so randomly stumbled across this video, which is yet another response to Cody's Take 20 I'm Not Playing Pathfinder 2nd Edition video anymore, which is now almost uh, at least a half a month old. Um, segue. I, I kind of wonder if he planned this. I mean, did he know? I kind of think on some level he, he, he sort of, I mean, this is just ridiculous how this one little video is blown up. But it's all just goes, it gives him more subs and more stuff. So really, way to go, Cody. So this individual whose video I saw just randomly has made several response videos to it. Most of them I haven't agreed with because I'm an asshole. Um, and this one really bothered me, which is weird that it would, but it did. Um, because the, the, the premise of his video was we need to get rid of min-max optimized players from the 5th edition Pathfinder table. Like, we need to take these players and tell them, you're not welcome. We don't want to game with you. And it's fine with that individual doesn't want to game with those types of players. Just, you know, session zero. This is the kind of game we're going to run. But just to say uh, an entire group of players needs to be getting rid of, that's kind of like saying, well, an entire group of people who need to be getting rid of because of the color of their skin or their sexual preference, isn't it? Maybe not, but maybe. There's a group of people who appreciate, who like playing this way. They like min-maxing. They like optimizing. They like breaking, breaking the game. It's actually really hard to break 5th edition. Breaking the game and seeing how far they can push it and seeing what kind of wacky optimized combinations they can come with. with and... As somebody who likes to experiment and find new wacky ways to look at the rules of 5e and, and test myself and, you know, I don't, you know, I have a problem with murder hobos, as I've said. I have a problem with assholes at people at the table, you know, and people who are there just to break the game for the sake of breaking the game and piss on everybody else's fun. There's no question. But I have no problems with optimizers. I am definitely guilty of optimizing on more than one occasion, especially in Pathfinder. And my last 5th edition character that I played was very much optimized, even though I also had set myself a challenge with that character, as I've discussed in previous videos. Um, but again, I will refer refresh that um, the last 5th edition game I played in, um, we, saw, we all agreed that it was going to just basically be a fun kill monsters take treasure romp and so we were all sort of like yeah we're gonna make optimized characters and but we're all gonna still challenge ourselves because we've been playing long enough that we can do both and my challenge was how far could i get my character without any gear using only what i found so i played a goblin rogue started the game wearing nothing but you know a burlap sack and his only weapon was a fork that he stole from the inn and, you know, I started him with like, you know, I was like, well, I'm a goblin rogue. I've got like, what? I could have eight hit points, but you know what? I'm going to start myself with like four because I'm a goblin. You know, armor class 10, base damage of one because it's a fork, plus backstab if I was lucky enough. And with no gear, got that character to 11th level. Everything I had were things I found or things I built or things I stole, 11th level still had, did not have a single magic item to my possession, except for a few potions that I was carrying around because everybody else forgot we had them. And, you know, obviously I was like, I, how, how much can I optimize a Goblin Road? Where obviously, you know, the booming blade backstab combination is pretty broken, especially at like high levels. And, you know, back then, you could, before Tasha's, you could also throw in the Shadow Blade. So it was Booming Blade, Shadow Blade, Backstab, which just ended up being like, you know, 50, 
average of 50 points of damage. But everybody else was optimized too, but they were also doing experiments. I mean, there was a few people who obviously at that game who didn't get the notes and tried to do other things, and that's why that game fell apart because one half of the group was all like, yeah, let's see how much fun we can have. And the other half of the group was like, they apparently just didn't, I don't know, even know. And then the DM went fucking insane, but that's a different story. So there's nothing wrong with optimizers. Optimizers are fun. Going through a dungeon crawl, grinding, just, you know, kicking open the doors, ta- killing the monsters, taking the treasures min-maxing your character, seeing how op- um, optimized your character can, figuring out how much damage you can do, figuring out how you can push the system, coming up with weird, broken combinations that maybe people hadn't thought of. Like, oh, you know, if I combine this with this and then throw in this spell, I'm, I do this. Now, maybe it's not doing a lot of damage, but it definitely changes the outcome of the game. And so, yeah, that's fun. And there should be no, you shouldn't have, you should not say, oh, we need to get rid of these people. We need to ban them. We need to change their way of thinking. No. It is a time-honored tradition of D20-style role-playing going all the way back to the very beginning of D&D from the very day one of, you know, Monty Hall characters. Min-maxing, optimizing, coming up with these, you know, power gamers. It's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine. If everybody at the table agrees... That's perfectly fine. If that's the game that the DM wants to run and all the players want to be like, yeah, let's do that. It sounds fun. We've been doing it since day one. Even people who say, oh, no, I never do that, do that. You know, we had Monty Hall, we had Power Gamers, we have Optimizers, we have Min Maxers. It's all the same. You're just trying to push the system as far as you can go, which is fine. It's fun. As long as everybody agrees that's the game you're going to run. Now, if... You know, you have people who show up at your table who are optimized and you're like, well, that's not the game I want to play. And they still insist on doing that. And they start, you know, just turning the game into that. Then it's like either you need to talk with them and work with them. And it's like, dude, that's not the game we're playing. Can we work something else? Or say to them, you know what? I don't think this game is for you because we're not running that kind of game. Let me help you find a game that is for you where you can play that character. And vice versa. If everybody's like, oh, blah, blah, role play, role play, role play. You know, everybody's optimized, 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 mid-max, and some role player sits down and wants to root play out their five-page backstory, they're not going to have any fun. So you either work with them and say, this is the kind of game we're playing. You can still role play, because I role played the fuck out of that goblin. I even stole a castle. And I'm not sure how I pulled that off. As long, but as long as that session zero, that session five, that agreement that this is what we're going to play... And everybody wants to play that, and that sounds fun to everybody here. It's fine. You should not just say an entire group, an entire mindset of players needs to be kicked to the curb. If you don't like optimization, fine. That's okay. Find a game where other people aren't doing that, or find a different system, or create a game where where you find another group of people who want to play the way you play, or find a system that does what you want to do. But don't just say, you can't play at my game. No, say... Hey, this is what I'm running. Is that what you want to play? And if they say, no, you know, if I want to optimize, I want to play, like, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's not what I'm running. Or after they sit down at the table and you see what kind of character they're playing, you approach them and you go, you know, that's not the kind of game we're playing. This is what we all agree on. If you're comfortable with that, great. If not, let me help you find the game that you want to play that will do what you want to do. Same thing. If you don't want to run a system that has optimization and min-maxing, you probably shouldn't be playing 5th edition. And you definitely should not be saying, oh, an entire group of players are not allowed at my table. So, there you go. Last thing I ever thought I'd say in defense of optimization. Um, But you know what? My problem is not optimizers. My problem is murder hobos. My problem is people who show up to the game for the sole purpose of fucking the game and pissing on everybody else's fun. And my problem is people who don't agree. You know, when you have the one group who want to play one style and the one group who want to play the other style and they're sitting at the same table and the DM doesn't know how to work with that. And so there's just that constant, you know, stress and struggle and just, I don't understand what kind of game are we playing here? And then, yeah, that's the problem. The lack of communication. Communication, session zero. How many times do I have to say this? Communication, session zero. Write it down on paper so everybody remembers. Post it on Facebook. <laughs> you know? Just, just, ah, uh, 
but you just know just saying an entire group needs to be re-educated that sounds really familiar i don't know where i've heard that before we need to get rid of an entire group of individuals because we don't like the way they think i am your grumpy guy to all things gaming if you appreciate this content and haven't had a chance to subscribe Please subscribe and let me help me hit the 500 subs by August 4th, 2021 goal. That's right. That's the new goal. 500 subs by August 4th, 2021. I will talk to you losers later.